In today's lesson, we will be learning about armadillos. Today I'm in my classroom with a very unique creature called the nine-banded armadillo. This is the only native species of armadillo that we have in Georgia of the around extent, probably around 20 species. Armadillos belong to the family of mammals known as Dasiopodidae. Native species of armadillo in the southern eastern United States have hair on stomachs. And this little guy, I'm going to use it as a really good example of how animals will expand their range and come into new territories based on climate change and global warming. Armadillos are fossorial during the daytime. They dig holes called burrows to hide from predators. Armadillos have got really, really cool adaptations about them. When I look at this little creature, it does have a carapace, a lot like a tortoise, and it's connected to the vertebra in the back. The nine-banded armadillo, it does have bands, but that's kind of misleading because it does not always have nine. Even rivers can't stop armadillos. They can actually walk on the bottom of rivers by holding their breath for a long period of time. That allows them to cross geographical barriers and expand their range very rapidly. And it is a mammal because look, there's hair all over the belly. That lets me know it's a mammal. They're born alive. Those little babies even have a shell when they pop out called the neonates. But now their shell's not quite hard yet. It's actually pretty soft. And then it hardens over time, given that little baby gets a good supply of food. And they can hear very, very well. The sight's not the greatest, but that ear, those big old ears allow it to hear a predator coming. And then they have sensitive little hairs on their feet, those fibrosi let them know when something's sneaking up on them, and they can smell really well too, which helps them find their food. Yeah, these guys are really, really omnivorous. An omnivore is an animal that has the ability to eat and survive on both plant and animal matter. But really and truly, about 80% of their diet is made up with protein, which means insects, eggs, things like that. They do eat a little plant material, but it only accounts for about 10 to 20% of their diet. When they get frightened, armadillos can jump straight up in the air to get away from predators, maybe even three to four feet in the air to get away. They're very heavily adapted. They even have armor on top of their heads that allow them some protection to the skull. And now, most of the armadillos are actually extinct. The ones we see today are the ones that are left on the planet. Because even in the past, there's been what they call giant armadillos. Giant armadillos can grow up to four feet, which makes it the largest out of the 20 different species of armadillos. So these little guys are prehistoric. They've been on the planet a long time. So remember, climate change can be seen right here in South Georgia because when I look at an animal like this one that has expanded its range due to global warming, it can travel farther north. And now even my wild turkeys, quail, and ground nesting animals such as rabbits and things like that are threatened even in the northern states as this little animal progresses north. So they're really, really cool, but we have to remember uh, the things that we do are affecting this planet through climate change. Review questions. What type of consumer is an armadillo? A. Carnivore B. Omnivore C. Herbivores B. Omnivore True or false? Armadillos have an armored shell at birth. True. True or false? Climate change has expanded the range of armadillos into the northern United States. True.